Hello. By completing the various exercises before this, and by working through them, you have now encountered and done a considerable amount with the normal distribution. In this video, we are thus going to derive expressions for the expectation and variance of this particular random variable. As a brief reminder, we have established that the probability density function for a normal random variable with parameters mu and sigma is given by the expression shown at the top of this slide. We are going to need this expression in order to calculate the expectation and variance. Before we get onto those derivations, however, let's first calculate the integral of the probability density function over all space by evaluating the integral on the right-hand side of the expression shown here. We know that this integral should be equal to 1, as f of x is a probability density function, and the integral over all space of a probability density function is equal to 1. By showing this integral is equal to 1, we will thus confirm that our expression for the probability density function of a normal random variable is a correct probability density function. We can proceed with this integral by first taking the multiplicative constant outside of the integral. We will then perform the integral itself by substitution. In particular, we are going to make the substitution y equals x minus mu all over sigma. To do this definite integral by substitution, we will need to change three things. The first thing we need to change are the limits. In practice, we don't have to do anything in this particular case, as y is equal to minus infinity when x is equal to minus infinity, and y is equal to plus infinity when x is equal to plus infinity. The limits of the integral thus do not change. The second thing we need to change is the integrand, which must be written in terms of y rather than x x minus mu all squared divided by 2 times sigma squared is equal to y squared over 2. So to the e to the minus x minus mu all squared over 2 in the current integrand will be, become e to the minus y squared over 2. The final change that we need to, to do is to change the infinitesimal, i.e. the dx. To change the infinitesimal, we note that dy by dx is equal to 1 divided by sigma. We can thus write that dx is equal to sigma multiplied by dy. After completing the substitution, we thus find that our integral reduces down to the expression shown here. Furthermore, the factors of sigma in the numerator and the denominator cancel and the integral reduces to the following. We now recall a very useful fact about the integral shown here. It is equal to the square root of 2 times pi. You will almost certainly learn how to prove this result at some stage. I am not going to do it here though. I would note however that this is a really important integral, especially for stats and that this is an integral that is well worth memorising. For now though, just note that once we recall that the integral is equal to the square root of 2 pi, we have this factor in the numerator and the denominator. These two factors thus cancel and we are thus left with 1 as required. OK. Having completed the warm-up, let's move on to the main course, calculating the expectation. The expectation is equal to the integral shown here. Notice that the integral here is just the integral of all space of x multiplied by the probability density. I have split the probability density function into two parts, though, in order to take the parts that do not depend on the integration variable outside of the integral. As we did on the previous slide, we will perform this integral by substitution. Most of the procedure here is identical to what was done on the previous slide, so I won't go through it again. Just note that we also need to replace the x in the integrand here with sigma y plus mu. 
Once the dust settles and we complete this substitution, we thus find that we need to compute the following sum of integrals. Notice that I have cancelled factors of sigma from the numerator and denominator in both these integrals and that I have replaced the integral of a sum by a sum of two integrals. The second integral is equal to the square root of 2 pi, as we saw on the previous slide. The second term here is thus simply mu. The first integral is similarly straightforward once we recognise that the function f of y is odd and because f of minus x is equal to minus f of x and that the exponential function here is even as f of minus x is equal to f of x. The integrand is thus an odd function as an function that is constructed by multiplying an odd function by an even function is odd. It is useful to note that the integrand here is odd as the integral over all space of any odd function is equal to zero. As we are integrating an odd function over all space, this first integral is thus equal to zero. We thus find that the expectation of the normal random variable is equal to the parameter mu. Okay, having done the expectation, let's compute the variance for this random variable. Recall that the variance is equal to the second moment for the distribution minus the expectation squared. We will thus begin by calculating the second moment of the distribution. In other words, we will calculate the expectation for the square of the random variable as shown here. Notice once again that this is calculated by integrating the square of x, the square of x times the probability density function, and we do this integral over all space. As in the previous two slides, we are doing this integral by substitution once more. This substitution is the same as on previous slides, and so most of the steps are the same as what we did for the expectation and the derivation that was presented on the first slide. We just need to note that the x squared in the integrand here needs to be replaced by the following function of y, sigma and mu. Once we make this substitution, cancel factors of sigma from the numerator and denominator and split the integral of the sum of three terms into a sum of three integrals, we find that the problem reduces to the following. The last integral here is our old friend and is equal to the square root of 2 pi. The final term here is thus mu squared. The second term, meanwhile, is the integral over all space of an odd function. And just as we saw on the last slide, this is thus zero. The first integral is a little more tricky. To make it tractable, we will write the integral in terms of the new parameter alpha, which in the original integral is equal to a half. This substitution is useful because the integrand can then be written as the negative derivative of e to the minus alpha y squared with respect to alpha as shown here. We can then reverse the order of the integration and differentiation here, which is useful as the integral of e to the minus alpha y squared is rather straightforward. If we make the substitution z equals y over square root 2 times alpha, we find that the integral reduces to our old friend, I told you that guy was useful, multiplied by a constant as shown here. By remembering once again that this integral is equal to the square root of 2 pi, we thus find that the integral is equal to the square root of pi over alpha. We can thus determine the integral we want by evaluating the following easy derivative. When this is done we get the following. 
We now recall that alpha is equal to a half, and that as such, alpha to the minus 3 over 2 is 2 times root 2. So the integral is equal to the square root of 2 pi once more. The first integral is thus equal to the square root of 2 pi, and the first term is thus equal to sigma squared. The second moment is thus equal to sigma squared plus mu squared. Substituting the value for the second moment that we have just obtained and the square of the expectation into the definition of the variance thus gives us that the variance for the normal random variable is equal to sigma squared. So, to summarise, the mu parameter of the normal random variable is equal to the expectation for this type of random variable. The variance, meanwhile, is equal to the square of the sigma parameter. Thanks for your attention and good luck with the exercises that follow.